Um, I didn't reject them. I, I wrote them for other people. Oh. Like, that was a random day. I wrote those songs with two other guys in um, in somewhere. It was somewhere. I don't remember. And um, I didn't actually think they were very good. Yeah, I wrote them. I wrote I them. I thought they sucked. And, um, I and um, really good. I wanted, I to, get out, I wanted, to, I wanted <laughs> to get out of there. To be honest, I wrote them really quickly, and I, and I demoed the vocal. Yeah. Right. Like, I mean, and and I just did it as a bit of a laugh. Like it was a bit of a wasted day. And then um, yeah. come away, and they stuck them on a bloody MySpace page <laughs> as my new album. I was livid. Oh, I threw it. So who's going to be using them? Um, I don't know. I don't know. I, I don't really like them. Yeah. I don't really want to put my name oh, to them, to be honest. I, I, don't know really. I even liked Broken for God's sake. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I'm not really rating them, but yeah. It's kind of about what this year's been like for me, you know. I mean, it's been, it's been a bit of a, for this, this almost two years, you know. It's yeah. been a bit bit of a mad little journey. So, you know, I mean, it's kind of, it's kind of anything that was kind of topical at the time, we just wrote a song about it, you know. So. Jason Perry, man, yeah. uh, the lead singer of A. A, 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 A. Yeah, A, one of my favourite bands, and luckily I got a chance to write with him. That's pretty and cool. And, you know, just writing with one of your favourite bands, I was like, a bit like, you know, and Dan Carter, who's a bass player, yeah. is also wicked, you know, and their friend Julian, that is the three guys that we, we just we just wrote yeah. the whole album, so, you know, it was wicked, it was just a really good experience. With Damon, I wrote a beat side with Damon. Yeah. That was on uh, that was on um, on Off All Night. Yeah. Yeah, wrote a song called Can I Come Too. Yeah. That was that, fun. That, that's a good song. Yeah, yeah I like I that song. Rocky, oh really? Rocky was gonna be on the album but oh, uh, well, sort of I think so too, <laughs> I really liked it, but um, it got shunted onto the B side. No. But no, I mean, no, no. Did you get more independent? <clears throat> yeah, I mean I mean it's kind of my little creation, so I get complete creative control, yeah. you know, which is quite nice not having to deal with other people, but you know, it's, um, <coughs> I love being in a band, yeah. you know, I had a wicked time, it was a really good, yeah. really good time, so you know, I mean, it's, it's different being solo, it's a bit more, all the tension's on you, but yeah. it's kind of like, oh. You know, I went to, um, I went to a really dodgy, cheesy 80s rock club <laughs> one night, and I, and I, and um, and I heard Van Halen jump. Yeah. And I hadn't heard it for like about like ten years or something. <laughs> the song. Suddenly I was like, man, this is the best song ever written. I've got <laughs> to create an album of jumps. You know. So I walked into the studio and sort of went, we've got to make a Van Halen record. And everyone looked at me a bit <laughs> like this. What? But um, we didn't end up doing that in, yeah. the, in the end. But we wanted to go as flamboyant and as, and as big sounding and as kind of over the top. Yeah. as we could, so that was kind of the first one to got the ball rolling, yeah. you know, but there's a lot of influences on the album from, I mean, the next song's got a bit of a Death Leopard mob, yeah. and bands like that. So, what, what kind of sound is the album doing? It's kind of just, it's kind of big, big stadium, stadium pop record, you know, I mean, I wanted to make a really good pop record, because I don't think there was, um, I don't think anyone's making really ballsy kind of statementy pop, yeah. I mean, I'm not writing... I'm not making a statement like I'm not being political or anything, yeah. you know. But I mean, you know, I just wanted to make a real kind of like this is this is what I think pop music should be, yeah. you know. And hopefully I've done that. So well, I like everything I've heard. Oh, good, good. Yeah, get you're a teeny, though. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> no, I'm not a teeny. Oh man, I don't even know what that is. <laughs> it keeps changing. I mean. It, you know, I mean, I loved Up All Night. I mean, I hate yeah. it was going to be the first single, but I was so glad we went with Up All Night in the end. Cause it was just, yeah. It's a really good song to perform and kind of just a yeah. cool, cool record, I thought. So, yeah, that's kind of was my favourite. But, um, I don't know. There's a song called Get Bored, which is kind of one of the first songs to wrote. Kind of, in a. If there's any song, if there's any song which anyone's going to say that sounds like Busted, then that's the song, you know. But, um, I mean, most of it's a lot different. But that was, yeah. I wrote that right now when I was in Boston, so it is oh, kind of busted out. Okay. There's one song which I pulled off the album oh, right. uh, called Guarding My Ears, and um, it's an amazing song. I've been writing it for about, it's one of those songs that I've been writing for about four years. If it's amazing, why did you take it off? Because I want it to be better. You know, I, mean, I think it was worth a lot more, yeah. so I wanted it to be, I want it to be a lot better. So, um, yeah, I wasn't quite happy with it, so I pulled it off the record, and we're re-recording it now, right. and it's sounding amazing, so it's going to be it? back on. Alright. I'm not answering that. <laughs> my mum might have said it. <laughs> well, I'm not sure what I'm saying. My, my, my nan might have said it, I'm not answering <laughs> that.
Okay. Not <laughs> I believe everything you read. I did not make a script of reading. Oh, did you not? It's uh, you know, it was all Wait, thrown out of court and you know, I don't know, I don't believe anything you fucking read in newspapers. Apart from what we do. Apart from what you say, apart from what I stand here and go blah blah blah, they don't <laughs> yeah. believe it. I, I thought that would have some truth in it. Where did it come from? Yeah, I mean well, you know, I I, I have some things which I'm dealing with and I deal with them in my own way, you know, but I'd rather not talk about it because I feel like well, I'm yeah, just yeah, talking about fair it. Enough. Yeah. Yeah. I love a band called Infidels. They're my favourite band, man. They're fucking amazing. Check them out, Infidels. They're absolutely yeah, amazing. I haven't heard of it. They're not getting the success they deserve. Where, you know, where are so, they um, from? They're from, they're from uh, East London. All right. And they're amazing. Um, it's, they're, music. <coughs> it's kind of like, it's kind of dance rock. Oh, yeah. You know, it's, yeah. Re it's, it's really dancey, you know, but it's, it's also really rocky. <laughs> so, yeah, <laughs> yeah, dance rock would be the right thing to say. So, yeah, I mean, yeah, they're amazing. They're fantastic. So. Okay. I think that's probably about it. Wicked. Thank right, you very thank much. You very much. Thank you. Mwah. I'll see you soon. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.